Today has been quite the good day. Hobson came back with another single called uh, COVID Mansion or something like that. Or uh, I can't remember, but he's talking about being isolated and everything. It's pretty good. It's a good fucking track. I loved it. I, uh, I had plenty of food. Work was pretty easy. So now I am about to play this game and I can't wait for the nostalgia. Here are the options real quick. It's got a bunch of stuff, graphics options, boom, you can go advanced, blah, 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 everything maxed out, obviously. Uh, motion blur, off, why would it be on? Oh, you can do Formula 2 as well, that's pretty cool. Classic, and then F1 2019, we're just gonna do that. Ah, I got to go with the Ferrari. I mean, we always went with the Ferrari. It is pretty much the fastest one. Look at the detail though, holy shit, it's like, no wonder why the games are pretty much the same every year, it's just, how much better can you get from this? I guess you, they change the, the whatever changes happen on the cars and everything, but all these fucking things on the top of the cabin there, uh, it's like a wing, and the thing on the side was like the camera, like a lot of those things were not existing back then, like uh, the cars have changed so drastically. Let's see what the classic looks like. That's more like it. <laughs> nah, I, I played when they were a lot more new than this, but they all had their own unique design because the engineers were still trying to figure out how to make it work. Oh, here we go. That looks more familiar. Or, oh, this is from 2004. I think it was Formula 1 2001 that my brother and I were playing. This is 2007, 2001. Yep, that looks way too familiar. Because uh, they added this pillar on these new ones. That's like right in your fucking face. That's unbelievable. But that's not a lot of cars though. I mean, you got Alfa Romeo, you got Honda, you got... Whatever the fuck that is. BWT. You got McLaren. Uh, Rich Energy. <laughs> Renault, Aston Martin, and Mercedes and Ferrari. That's about it. That's And they all look identical almost. They have the same typical structure. So I'm going to go classic. I'm going to go with the... What is it? The 2000... The 90s. No, I don't want to do 90s. Wow, that looks weird. We're going to go with the 2004 Ferrari. Because why not? Wow. Oh, man. Oh, what the fuck? Already? Holy shit. That wasn't my fault, was it? Yeah. Fuck you, dude. And it was the Ferrari, too. We're supposed to be on the same team. Ding dong, what are you doing? Okay, yeah. So, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, is that I have an, an immense amount of experience when it comes to these F1 games, and you'll see, I'm on last place right now, so this is just what I was hoping for. Uh, I was hoping for, like, a sabotage kind of deal to happen so that I can just kind of display... Oh, I don't want to drift. Um, fuck. I just wanted to kind of display, like, hey, this is just how you play the goddamn game, you know? Oh boy, here we go. Okay, yep, so there's more grass than I remember, that's for sure. I thought it was gonna be just, uh, no grass kind of deal, but hey, what are you gonna do about it? As I was saying, before I started drifting like a dumbass, this definitely does not resemble the track I remember playing on the old games. I don't know if they changed it over the years, I didn't really look into it. There used to be a tunnel. Uh, I don't know if Italy has multiple tracks that I have to switch through that I don't know how to switch because it's the first time I launched the game. I was so tempted to launching it yesterday and playing, but uh, the whole point of the A to Z challenge is to never having played the game and Oh, they want me to do pit stop? Fuck that. I'm not going to pit stop. I'm about to murder these bitches. 
top speed, bitch. Here we go. Oh, did I just hit a penalty? Yeah. Okay. Damn. 11 seconds? I don't... Just give me 20 seconds. I'll still beat these fuckers. I don't care. I'm the best thing that ever happened in this business. Like CM Punk the wrestling. Yeah. Fuck you. Uh, oh, you uh, you're the how's the nitrous in this game? How do you do the boost? Yeah, get the fuck out of here, bitch. Yeah, warning. I'm warning them. Oh, what the fuck? We're What is that? What? Oh. Oh, I have the flashback. Okay, yeah. All right. So That's where we're going to leave it at past this mofo right here because he's being a little bitch um i don't even know what i was saying that's how skillful i am in this game so i don't know if they changed it i mean it's obviously it's been a while since I, yeah the whole point of the of the a to z series is that i never played the game before oh man stop giving me warnings on here i'm just trying to play the goddamn game i <clears throat> I wasn't really in the mood for making a video. It was just it was just a weird time. I had just finished playing Fear, so that video had just uh, finished rendering and it was uploading and I turned off the computer before it had finished uploading. So I had to finish that video upload uh, today after I had gotten back from work. So that was a little bit of a adventure there. I did play Fear Pursues Mandate. Uh, yesterday, and that's the video I made. Oh wow, I the warnings kind of caught up to me, I guess. I did the video. I I wasn't as scared as I was with the Extraction Point DLC. Extraction Point DLC was like creepy right off the bat. It was it was kind of out there. So. I didn't play Fear 1 because even though I remember nothing about the game, I do remember a while ago I did actually launch it and I played it and it was it was good. I mean I don't I, I remember it being good, although my memory doesn't exactly serve me right as far as details about the game. And I can't quite remember anything about it other than the fact that I'm pretty sure I enjoyed the time I had with it. I have finished Fear 2, and I have finished Fear 3. Fear 2, I actually finished it in one night. I skipped sleep with my back then best friend in Greece. We don't talk anymore for whatever reason that I don't know about. And we kind of just pretty much stayed up all night. Now, do I have gas, by the way? I feel like I may run out of gas soon. What's the MPG on these cars? I may want to buy one myself, but I don't know if I want to use it for commute reasons. So, we did stay up all night, and we did finish Fear 2. And I do, I was pretty fucking scared. Like, he wasn't really getting scared with it. He was kind of handling himself, but I remember there was a part where I had to go in a room. Oh, fuck. And I'm going to get penalty. Not even a warning? Okay. All right. Well, I guess I'm done with the warnings. They're like, ah, eh, fuck this guy. He's too good for these guys anyway, so. All right. Uh, Lorsen. Oh, man. Oh, uh, what? No, no. How do you... Oh, fuck. How do you do the... Oh, there we go. I need to hit the brakes for more. Okay, there we go. I mean, I don't really need the flashback. Even if I wipe out, I'm still going to be able to come back and win the race. It's not that I do it for me. I just do it for the spectacle because, like I said, I'm pretty much one of the best people when it comes to racing games. I've been placing, playing racing games my whole life, so the, this is easy for me right here. I'm not even batting an eye. So I just trying to pass this motherfucker. Fear 3, however, it was just not scary at all. It, I, 
I did have my moments. I did play it by myself. I didn't play with anyone else. So it's not like I had someone keeping an eye on it for me or like keeping me company or whatever. Fastest lap. Yeah, bitch. How many laps is this, by the way? I don't think I know. Oh, five out of five. Okay. And I fucked up. Yep, two second penalty. It's okay. I probably made two seconds out of that mishap right there so should be good fear 3 was more like an adventure type like hey here's your brother that has magical powers so it pretty much makes the game a lot easier because you can suddenly use blood ma magic to choke bitches and yeah, it kind of took away the scare factor out of it because in, in the other games, you're just a normal person that has a gun and you have to fight paranormal shit and like, yeah, they're all atmospheric and spooky and everything, but it kind of takes away the the fear factor from the game and plus, it, it, I remember it being way too shootery. It wasn't, it wasn't as creepy, it wasn't as, I guess... Paranormal, paranormal, paranormal. I'm still English is my second language. Paranormal. <laughs> um, check, checkered flag, checkered flag. See, I told you I was gonna. Third? Oh yeah, because of my penalties. <laughs> oh man, I will take the victory. I don't care. In my mind, I won. So, yes, it is Monaco. Why would I think that it's Italy? I'm not sure. But this was the... This was the map that my brother and I used to play in Formula 1. 2000, 2001, I believe. One of the two. It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna fuck... Oh, it's wet. God damn it. Well, you're about to see something beautiful here. Am I gonna have to... Okay, good. Oh, I'm first? Haha, <laughs> what? This is easy. Why would the game? Oh wow, I'm slipping. God damn it! Why was it wet? And this is gonna suck. I'm just gonna be drifting all over the fucking place. Yeah. Oh my god, this just brings back all the memories. Holy hell! Oh, yep. Here we go. And this is way more difficult than I thought it would be. So, wow, yeah, we just used to play this fucking map all the time. What? I followed the instructions. Get back here, botas. Oh, man, this is way harder than I thought it would be. How How's the turning radius so pathetic? Check your MFD for a new strategy How about you check your fucking mouth for a new piece in your ass? Well, this is where's uh, where's the nitrous? I don't know. Maybe I have to. Oh shit! I may have to restart this, so it's not. Oh yeah, we always used to do this. Fuck that! I don't care. Yeah, ten seconds, my ass. You, they just lost ten seconds. Oh wow, they uh, illegal overtake. Damn it. Well, I'm just probably gonna win again anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, fuck. Obvious corner cutting. So I got a 10 second penalty and I was pushed back on my position and I was given a 3 second penalty. It's just like the, word, the world's against me. Uh, it's just me versus the world and kind of like Scott Pil Pilgrim, we're gonna decimate these fuckers right here. It doesn't matter. It is great gameplay though, like the game does feel very fleshed out and... Wow, just, just being able to play this map again and see, not see, I guess, because I have no clue as to how much it's improved, but I am only guessing that the old game looked like dog shit. Uh, crap. Don't overtake me. Illegal. Wow, this is... So... When we played it back then, with my brother, we obviously had full 
braking assist enabled. And at that moment, all you really have to do is just press on the gas and stay on the green line. So it's really funny because that's exactly what I was doing. I was staying on the green line and I was just never letting go of the throttle because the game will just take care of everything for you as far as the braking goes. So the driving assist was there. And as a result of driving perfectly, I always won. And my brother is kind of a ding-dong sometimes, so what he would do is he would actually have a really hard time following the, gre the lines. Now granted, just so you know, there weren't no, there weren't, we weren't using these guidance lines that turn green and, and red and everything when you have to break. I was just following the black lines from the tire marks that the game had on the on the road. Because supposedly all these cars were leaving tire track marks, so every single stage had them. And Italy was, of course, the more profound one. Oh my god, this turn, I don't even know how to take this turn, that's how difficult this is. So... He was getting pissed because he didn't really, like, I don't understand why his brain wasn't, like, computing the fact that he needed to stay within the lines. So, even with the full traction control on and brake assist and steer control and everything, he was still, he was losing. He, uh, he couldn't fucking play the game. It was really fucking funny. And he was starting to get mad and everything, so eventually he didn't want to play anymore, and he was blaming the AI, and he was saying, Oh, the computer always works. And I was like, No, it doesn't. It, the computer is not beating me. I just stay on the lines. And he said, Well, there's no lines to stay on. And I'm like, Well, what about the, the fucking time track marks on the road? You gotta try to follow those. So he did try to follow them, and... It didn't help, he was still losing the game, so eventually he kind of quit on it, um, but I was persevering, and as you can see here, evidently by my professional career as a race car driver, it's, uh, it's like a sprained ankle, it's nothing to play with, boy, it's just, uh, it's second nature, so I... Am immortal. Okay, let's see if I can take this turn. Oh my god, I did it. I did it. Yeah. Monaco, suck my dick. You just discount Italy. I really don't like the raindrops. They hinder my visibility quite a significant amount. And my car is definitely hella damaged at this point. I do remember watching Formula One many, many years ago, and it was actually this uh, this stage that they were racing on, and all the dri almost all the drivers were actually like cutting in front of that patch of land that I actually cut in the first lap, and it was funny to watch them because my brother and I would always. Uh, use that cheat right there as well so it was good to see that everyone else was being a piece of shit as well and it wasn't just us wow they are really on my ass I, I suck at this map I'm not as good as I thought I was I mean I am oh fuck oh man I am okay not emo mentally just emotionally alright here let's start from here fuck it Oh man, this game is so fucking hard. And I'm about to fucking crash again. Oh, but my wheel is fine this time. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? And my I'm getting all his fucking rain water in my face. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. I don't, you lucky I don't know how to fucking rewind time. On purpose. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! Suck it! And I got a penalty because of the collision. Okay. 
this turning radius is really giving me a spin off right here. I don't know what this S1 means, but uh, it's probably not good. Uh, penalty, of course. Why not, you know? Just uh, target the... Ah, fuck it. You know what? It's 10 seconds, whatever. It's fine. Qu disqualification warning? They have this in the game? Jesus Christ. It's just a game. Can we, like, relax a little bit with all the rules? This is the final lap. Give me a break. Yeah, I definitely think my car is breaking down because the controller is vibrating a lot more than it was. Checkered flag. First place. Ain't nothing but a J thing. Yeah. Third. <laughs> Thirteenth. Wow. The Mercedes team pulled out a fantastic that was a lot worse. Son he looks like uh, Steve Emil, the guy that plays Arrow. Let's focus on the oh my god, that was just Davis disgusting. That was really, really bad. 25 seconds. Well, wow. Another fantastic weekend of racing. Well, that was uh, F1 Formula 1 2019. It's nice to go down memory lane. Uh, it's nice to show you guys how professional driving is. Kind of like my Dirt Rally 2.0 video that I made. Next up is really, really garbage games. A lot of them I'm going to be skipping because they're just so, <laughs> so fucking bad. But some of them I do have to do because they look semi-decent. I know it's the A to Z challenge, but if a game is straight up garbage town, I'm not going to waste my time with it because that video is going to suck ass. But hopefully you enjoyed this. Got some raw gameplay for your ass. And hopefully see you on the next one. Peace.